first. We went totally off the path. It was in the middle of the picnic. We were playing outside. And then we told the lads that we were going for a walk, but I guess they didn't be able to hear properly. Yeah, so what would you have your dinner? I tried to play it somehow. So I said, look, like if you eat, if you eat your dinner, I said, you can go. So I fell back in. And look, what do you think? She really wants to go. Please leave her come sit down. Molly really wants her to go as well. And Molly would be delighted. It's just look with that, you could go. And after saying no, like, something, you know, there's something in the back of your head. Thing telling you not to let her go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, anyway, we went back down and got her. And they went to collect Molly and Charlie. And off they went, and then she can tell the rest of the story. And then so we started on the picnic and we went on the swings and the climbing and things. And so me and Molly told um, and, and, and Antonia and Tony that we were going to go for a walk. Well, when I first got in I thought like, I thought it was only going to be like a quick walk. We were going to find a little place, you could play. Adventure games, but the one we went on the real adventure. Down in the forest. Oh, my word! I said, She took her to Gander, she does Ruby you, she wandered off. And I said, Well, no, that's she was small, like, you know, no, she wouldn't have said it, she wouldn't be like her, like. So we were just walking. Me and Molly walking down. She, we got the sticks and we started hitting all the brambles. We had to walk along this tree. It was a very short tree, but it was thick, and so we had to walk along it to get off the brambles, and Molly and me kept falling off it. And I didn't really get any hurt, but Molly, her arms were in pieces. Not as bad as they actually are now, because on our way back, after we'd gone through all those brambles, Molly fell again, but this time she landed on her belly and all her arms, and she got even more hurt. And so we decided to turn back. But we found that the only way was to get through, to get back, was to go through one of those big piles of brambles and they're all stuck together and all tangled up. And I kept on going. I, and Molly was crying, so I had to push through the thing. And she said it wasn't going to work. She said just to stay there. And we were even praying to Holy God that it would get through. And I was praying to Mother Nature and we were praying to God. <sighs> yeah. It, it was quite amazing. And while I was in there, I got torn in my, uh, in my skull. I got torn. It was right in my head. Millions of branches and brambles in my head. And as you can see, my legs and my hands. But Molly... Her legs didn't really get hurt, but her arms. I don't know why the brambles kept on focusing on her arms. I was mostly using my legs. She was too, though. But we just when we get when we got through those, we were all covered. My hair was all fizzy, and there were still brambles, but there weren't as many. And then we kept on going, and we got on top of this log, even though it was covered in moss and. Kind of like jelly mushroom things. And fungus. Yeah. And then we just kept on going. There were brambles and brambles and nothing but brambles. Mm. I thought I heard a cow in the middle of it. Looking for somebody to get lost in the woods. Have I any volunteers? Molly just fell, and then when I when we got through the brambles, all those brambles, I started crying, and then she told me that if, if I didn't if I didn't stop, we would be stuck there forever. And then she started, and I stopped. And I told her we'll be okay, Molly. Come on. Let's keep going and then I start then I started and she told me come on Ruby let's start going it was just it was like we were swapping every few minutes every few seconds <sighs> and so it 
just kept on thinking of myself, but I was, I was going to wake up and we were going to be in a big bag and there was going to be a man. It was all dark, he would have kidnapped us. I just kept on thinking about that moo. I felt like there was a bull chasing us from that moo. So weird. That moo. I don't know where it came from. Because when I, when I looked up the tree, I didn't see a farm anywhere. Maybe it was Antonia calling Mooly or something. <laughs> yeah. But. And then we just saw this road and we went onto it. And then we started remembering the road. It was the road home. And so I kept on running. Molly was faster than me anyway. And she was more determined than me to get home, I think. And my legs were, were in pieces. They still are. It even really hurts to do this now. And then we finally reached the road. We just started running and running. And then we got to the two bridges. There were people. They were teenagers with their kids throwing bread for the swans and the ducks. And we knew that we were home then. We... Molly was so happy. I thought it was going to rain. <laughs> but I did feel the happiest. It was great. And I kept on running. It was a very long road, longer than I could remember. Maybe it's because we went in. Maybe it was because when we went into the brambles, we didn't go in the right direction. But at least we were. And then just Charlie and Charlie only said a few sentences for the whole car drive, and she, the first one she said was, "Did you like our picnic then?" For God's sake, we got rambles too. And she's asking, did you like the picnic? The picnic was where we got rambles, for God's sake. And she's asking us, did we like it? And so I had to say, Molly didn't say that much either, but I just said, yeah, I liked it besides us getting rambles. I liked the actual picnic part. So.